we are not only doing this for the few, we are doing this for millions of people. Uh, we have a digital time and age, and, and yet we are excluding millions of people from our products and services because they're not able to use it. It's unacceptable. My name is Christian Nefwood. I'm the CEO of Be My Eyes, and I'm a Singularity alumni. The base hypothesis of Be My Eyes are people willing to call someone they don't know, have a video connection established, and be supported by a stranger. Fast forward to when we launched in 2015, we had 10,000 volunteers in the first 24 hours and 1,000 blind users. Well, for the millions of people that are blind or visually impaired, everyday tasks can be difficult. Technology has played a significant role in helping the blind, but we're now on the verge of a true game changer. That's right, it comes in the form of a smartphone app. A tap of the finger is now all it takes to get the blind some help they need. A new free app for smartphones called Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes. Well, then up and head it. Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes changed everything for them. Hello. How are you? The app uses a phone's camera and microphone to get the blind instantly connected to sighted volunteers like Elvira Medina. This app is actually something that is helping people and in such a small scale, but means so much. Each little step people make on our behalf, mm -hmm. we totally we, appreciate. We do. We live in an apartment building. I mean, you know, the cranky New Yorkers here, just like us. <laughs> so we don't go knocking on doors and go, oh, can you read this and can you read that? Be My Eyes is being used for everything from navigation, cooking, shopping, product distinguishing. Most products feel pretty alike. We had a woman who was about to walk down the aisle and wanted to stain check her dress. You can use it unlimited. It's 24 seven available. We have users in 150 countries, all for free. We believe that accessibility should be globally available and free for the end users. Also knowing that the majority of the world's clients live in low income settings, it's even more important for us to have a simple but powerful tool in their hands with no cost. So my personal mission is to prove that purpose and profit businesses can be and will be the uh, strongest competitive driver going forward. If it's free for the users, free for the volunteers, what's the monetization strategy here? I mean, it's not easy. Uh, we, we didn't have a business model for the first three years. There were low hanging fruits of advertising and subscriptions that we could have done, but being bold enough to go beyond the first, second and third iteration of a business model. So the first time I heard about Singularity, uh, a friend of mine returned from the DSP program. It was fascinating to hear about a place where you were taking on these biggest challenges and turning them into the biggest opportunities. And I was really excited when we when, when Singularity opened up for an accelerator. At that point, I would have been willing to, to get my left foot to get into the program. And luckily we did. Like we were a small startup out of Denmark and all of a sudden we were consider an accessibility thought leader. It was important for Be My Eyes to be part of the accelerator because other accelerators would probably have focused on growth, which would have been obvious at that point. But we were impact first, trying to build something that should be free, globally available. Singularity taught me how to trust my gut feeling. And that was one of the most important takeaways for me. Today, our business model is simple. It was right in front of us the whole time. Our users, were struggling with using technology, products and services. And they would call our volunteers asking for technical questions. And we realized that that should be done by the company representatives in their customer support team. So Microsoft was our first customer coming on, offering accessible customer support to blind and visually impaired people. Microsoft can now see what the blind or low vision is struggling with. And not only does that speed up the process about 30 to 40 percent of a ticket handling time, but they also gain the unique insight of where that product is inaccessible, what needs to be improved for the thousands or millions of people who are not calling in with that problem. And avoiding these foolish lawsuits that is really only there to raise awareness in the first place that they're not offering their products or service to the blind and low vision community. I knew the Be My Eyes mission was important when we received an email from a blind woman who explained to us how she was now able to see the result of a pregnancy test without depending on friends and family. This eventually led to a partnership with Procter & Gamble and their Clear, Clear Blue product line. So today Procter & Gamble is offering accessible customer support 
with the help of Be My Eyes. And I think that's just one of the examples of how the product have evolved into much more than the simple visual interpretation that we imagined in the beginning. This is needed in all areas of life, whether it's healthcare, transportation, finance. There's 250 million people who are in need of visual interpretation. The beauty of Be My Eyes is that today, six years later, we are the largest global community for the blind and visually impaired. This is an underserved community that is eager to get online use products digitally, physically. So not only is this a purpose-driven approach to a really important problem, but there's also big opportunity for a profitable business. I think that we as consumers are sick and tired of being told that we are part of the problem. We know that we got us to rising temperatures and plastic in the ocean. And we're all eager to be part of solutions that make the world a better place. So any company that can combine the purpose and profit element of giving me as a consumer what I need, my product, my service, but by doing that, I'm giving more than I'm taking. I'm being part of that solution rather than the consumption problem. I think that will be the, the future business model that will succeed. And those companies will gain momentum and they will eventually create movements for a better future.